They say that if you're a music fan, you will always remember the songs that came out when you were a teenager. But more than the music for me, it's the games. Warcraft, Starcraft, Red Alert, Dark Rain, Grim Fandango, Quake, CS, so many games. And not just the games, but who I played them with. Because my adolescence was right around the time that LAN cafes were starting to become popular. Even back then, we had Windows, but nowadays, there are better options to activate it. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Fragging an AI bot was nothing compared to the rush of using a grenade launcher on your friend. A friend who was seated right beside you and who was still using a keyboard without mouse to play an FPS. This was so early in the genre that mouse look hadn't become default yet. Wild times, which are gone. Land cafes, because of the pandemic and because of better internet penetration, have been rendered obsolete and a lot of the old names and places have disappeared. Just a quick search showing land cafes which are listed as temporarily closed is sobering. For a certain generation, sobrang lakas nung demand. Kamusta yung demand ngayon after the pandemic, after everybody has internet now? It's lower. So people just go to the Europe of the of Blue Skies parang to meet up or maglalang play sila to the natural old time. Even the games themselves moved away from the LAN format. StarCraft II didn't have a LAN option anymore. But one of the OG cafes remains, and we sat down with its owner to reminisce a little bit and also to see if these types of places still have a future. This is of course the immortal Herbie of Blue Skies, who looks pretty much the same as I remember seeing him when he was running Skies back when I was a teenager. He started back with 97. So we had a good internet cafe before, but malaki, malakas yung demand ng games. So yung mga land games, particularly World of Warcraft 3, and 2, yan, malakas. So we had to branch out. So from there, we developed with Skies. We were running on a US Robotics na dial-up connection. For, was, so, for the entire, so, ano? For the entire shop, naka dial up connection lang. Naka dial up lang. Palin oh. dalawa yung dalawang dial ups. <laughs> so one is main, one is for data. Initially, the kids came in for work, to print, to do school stuff. Una una muna, uh, work, muna. work related. So we wanted to do our homeworks. But that quickly changed. Some of them noticed I was, I was experimenting on games. Because kept saying naman because there are lax hours, so we tried some networking. So yung mga land games then were like Doom, mm. Warcraft. The evolution to try out games was to maximize profit, to give customers something to do during the lax hours. In short, to make more money. Kaya ito ako kasi tapot to game games. Kasi there were more people playing than than doing uh, web browsing. Well, malakas rin naman yung web browsing. Pero mas mabalis yung turnover sa games. Mm. Kasi para siyang ano, arcade. Certain people are arcade. The man, turnover, Herbie is a meticulous businessman and he pays attention to the details. We wanted to maximize the space of the cafe. 
we had a specific measurement for on the A with the, we have a specific measurement for everything. So uh, we wanted more uh, uh, utilitarian feel. Uh, there's less decoration, there's less. Uh, we just want to maximize the space. And of course, he kept track of his competitors. So by 98, 99, I can see Cyber Arena, si Hati Stop, Tapos Ken, Ken X, Mr. Sapolka. Um, City Romania 129. Yeah, okay. yeah. Parang nag-mushroom sila at one point. Talagang sobrang oh, dami nung... Mm. And inevitably, when you have a computer business, you need to do maintenance and Herbie would basically do it on his own. Who does your tech? Like, see, may, do you have dedicated tech guys na, yun nga, mag wipe ulit para, ma, para ma-reformat, para mawala yung virus, or kung hardware-related, ma-isolate na lang yung issue. Um, like the back end of Blue Skies. And, ako rin gumato. Kasi mabilis lang kung wag meron ng process. Meron ng process, so... For me, growing up, Skies was a place to play. But of course, for the owner, it was a business whose purpose was to generate income. During the interview, I was struck how my rosy nostalgia for the place, the sight of so many hours of gaming, contrasted with how efficient you needed to be to make a profit. More Henry Ford, less Willy Wonka. Aside from the economics, there are the regulatory aspects also to consider. It's so normal for adults to blame computers for why kids are no good that it's been summed up into a phrase. Sa kaka computer mo yan. Plus, the location of Blue Skies is very near several schools. Back to the school is kasi syempre mga students, mm. um, especially parents, nagagalit kasi yung pang sabi. Sino sa pa kami parents. <laughs> You, um, as in, may sumugod sa inyo? May, I, it was there, were there any parents talaga na nag-contact sa inyo directly na, ano? Um, no, no. It's uh, mostly parents that goes to the shop tapos sinahanap yung anak and they yung anak na patagol sa laro. So, sa school, sa school rin. So, sa school, syempre, they started looking for kids in our store rin. Sinahanap ko. Nakita niyo ba si ito? Especially from Costco. Plus, when your primary market is young males, then you're dealing with a lot of testosterone and all of the boneheaded stuff that can come from that. We had Momora, then so we had a customer named Steve. Siguro, trash talk yung isang guest. Nagalit yung guest, tumawa, pinutok siya. So, na-hospitalized. Ah, wow, ah. Si, kanina siya tumawag? Parang sa tropa niya? Or sa... sa tropa niya. Tumawag oh. ng tropa. At taga Anonas. <laughs> Wild, ah. And, uh, and uh, the fight was on the premises or just right outside? Parang hinanap si Steve? They pulled him down. He was playing. They pulled him down. Talaga Was that... Mm, sorry, was that one of the worst ano na, parang yun nga, yung medyo asaran, trash talk, and then it, it, it led to violence? No, oh, well, kasi we, sometimes we have customers, mga anak ng generals, talang, sorry. For example, naiwan niya, nakalimutan niya, i-close yung Facebook niya, kaya another customer would, would post from, in. oh. Tapos syempre nakita yung nagalit, pero oh. eventually it cooled down. Yeah, it's going to be a good effect on our staff. So, galing hard, working, maglalaro, tapos pagsusuka. There, in the middle of the shop, pagsusuka. Any event that caused damage to the computers? Yung nga, kung sumuka or parang nagsuntukan, tapos they... Wala naman. Wala naman. Mostly, the worst we can, siguro, natalo, Hinagisan yung, yung monitor na basag. Natalo, nainis, hinagis yung monitor. With all of this mayhem and noise going on, inevitably, the people of Blue Skies know their barangay officials really well. Yes, yes, the barangay officials in the panels. So, we just, sa anong office sa kaya lang, we follow them. Mm-hmm. We want to be friendly with our neighbors also. 
Uh-oh. And when customers aren't busy wrecking things, you have to be worried that they might be stealing things. There is a book on it. A screwdriver, any technical know-how. Ganun lang, nangyari yan eh. We had also a theft sa previous cash natin. Nakaw, dalawang 1060. Yung processor na i5, 7 chip. Yan yung nakaw. So, uh, we reported it. After this laundry list of headaches of running a land cafe, it's clear to me now why there isn't a rush to resurrect them. It's a hard business. The business of enabling the fun of other people can crush you. But amidst all of the frustrations, there are some lighthearted moments too. Herbie himself is a gamer. I always play on the side. So, yeah. <laughs> Ever since but, gamer, kana? Hmm, it's been a long time. But uh, my my more of the no, uh, adventure MMO action. So, Sorry, MMO. MMO. So yeah, a lot of more times. And being in a land cafe allowed them to add to the gaming experience. One of the longtime employees of Skies is Marlon, who is still there. And if you ever played CS and Blue Skies, you might recall Marlon's voice, which was saved over the original voice commands. So instead of hearing go, 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 you would hear Marlon saying stuff. Stuff which is not exactly appropriate anymore. So I'll reminisce about it at the very end of this episode. May nagmod sa kanya na yung voices. Parang linagay yung voice uh, ni Marlon. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I asked him to do that. We did the recording uh, uh, for no, one night. Oh, let's change all the voice commands. <laughs> so we recorded him. Now, very... Nakamike lang siya. <laughs> Tapos, you know, you say all these lines. Uh-huh. Tapos, then we want to add more lines. <laughs> Just kept, kept on adding more lines. So, ah, so the, more, idea, the idea came from you. Parang yeah. ikaw nag ano, oh. <laughs> Voice lang. <diet. laughs> <laughs> oh, nga eh. Before naging uso yung mga, um, yung call-outs from like Dota 2, yung mga shoutcasters. Parang the origin, I... Like for at least for, you know, for my generation, the original would be Marlon ano, shouting, so good na. And then, you know, it's a CS game <laughs> in, in Blue Skies. Sadly, I lost my sound pass. If you didn't catch it also, Herbie mentioned that he does not have the recordings anymore. Another piece of culture gone. The evolution of the Land Cafe is circular. Bilog ang bola, ikang nga mga basketball fans. Cafe started out for business, evolved to cater to gamers. And now that the gamers have mostly left, it's back to considering the business market. Students who goes in to have their reports printed, so you know, we still maintain our business aspect. And there are signs of life for the internet cafe, for this type of business, at least outside of the city. Say, must undeveloped you know, like the internet areas. So you can explore, let's say, go to the provinces, Unlike here in Metro Manila, mas maraming people who are connected. The land cafe of my teenage years, though, is effectively dead. Probably never to be resurrected. Good riddance, maybe. They're not needed anymore in a world where everyone's phone or computer is connected. The internet has made the world now one big land cafe. But there are moments which can only happen in a land cafe. Mas ano siya? Everything is more genuine sa before. Seeing your reaction time, yung mga reaction nila, especially in the We were playing Diablo for the first time. Tumating sa culture talaga. Nagwawala siya pa players. Who is that? Tapos, sisigaw si Rex. Sisigaw si Butcher ng fresh meat. Everyone is running. Everyone is shouting. Mas... Mas genuine yung ato. Tapos sabay-sabay kayo. You are reacting to the to butcher. In places like Blue Skies, you didn't need to type out GG after a game because you would physically reach over and pat your friend on the back. Or more likely, win or lose, babatukan mo because that's how guys express affection. The internet connects but it also sanitizes. It can't transmit the smell of cigarettes, the sounds of cursing, laughing, crying, threats, 
The griminess of the mouse, the stickiness of the floor, the joy of knowing there's nowhere you would rather be at one in the morning than in this cafe, virtually trying to murder your best friends. And for the rest of my days, I'll always remember one of Marlon's recorded voice lines for CS. So good na mga bading! That's not something you can get away with anymore. Not in modern CS, which is a very tactical game which punishes headlong rushes. And not in modern polite society, which is hyper-aware of slurs. It was a different time, perhaps backward in some respects, but it was a time I am happy to have played through. This was Tech Show But Friendly, Hardware Sugar's podcast. I'm your host, Anton, and we were produced by Nana Nadal. Join us in two weeks for our Valentine's episode where we explore why women becoming more assertive in dating turned out to be a great thing for men. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.